Welcome to Project Pitch It, a program about Wisconsin jobs. Next, three local entrepreneurs will pitch their ideas to local moguls. They will compete for over $30,000 in cash and awards to take their Wisconsin business to the next level. Who are the moguls? They are local business people with highly successful careers and companies. Now, they're turning their talents to help today's new job creators. Jim Lindenberg is the past owner of World Class Wire and Cable Inc. and the Milwaukee Wave. He is passionate about creating new business in greater Milwaukee. Mark Burrish is a founder of Bright Star, a foundation dedicated to creating jobs and keeping our best and brightest in Wisconsin. Jerry Genduza is the founder and CEO of a multi-million dollar aerospace company and is dedicated to revolutionizing the local business and investment world. Peter Fagan is the president of the Milwaukee Bucks and will oversee the team's world-class sports and entertainment district. He feels the sky's the limit in Milwaukee. This is Project Pitch It. Hello, I'm Mary Chris Coriel, the president of Snot Tape. Welcome. Thank you. Who came up with the name? Well, I, I actually called it Booger Tape, and they didn't think that was a very good name. So I like, I like six boogers. months of marketing, <laughs> you like boogers? they came up not with Snot Tape. Not as much as you like boogers. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, a little history. Well, we call it Snot Tape because it's not tape, okay? It's something completely different. And uh, a little of the history is that about six years ago, I was painting my condo, and everywhere I taped, I would pull the tape and I would see this horrible bleeding underneath the tape. Okay, so I thought, well, this can't be that hard to solve. I'll just give it some thought. And after about a week, I got a credit card application in the mail and I looked at the adhesive that was on the back of it and I thought, you know, that might work. I just put that down the edge of a piece of masking tape, 60 days, buy an old machine, I'll be making this stuff, cash will be coming in. So that was six years ago. <laughs> it, uh, it took two and a half years. Welcome to the world of yes. entrepreneurship. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, well, I was naive, and, and that turned out that was an advantage, actually, to be a little naive. But it took about two and a half years, 400 formulas, to get something that we thought would actually work. It's a viscoelastic polymer, and that's the trick to making this stuff work. So I'm thinking we got to give it to you guys. So let's have it uh, hand it out, let them touch it, feel it. The magic is the gel. The properties that it has to conform to surfaces and yet not attach itself. And once you touch it, people, again, anyone who's painted, they touch it and they go, oh, all right, I get it. I get how that would work. Could I have one of you come on up and, and we'll Peter. show you the difference oh, between- Oh, Jerry's our guy. Oh. Oh. Now we've got Jim, Jim, come on up. Okay. All right. So we have a couple competitors down here. We won't mention their name, but they are very close, like in Minnesota. And if you pull this bottom tape, that's classic blue. Oh, just pull it slowly, and you'll see the edge that it leaves. Ever see that before? You ever see wow. that? Anybody? Who's Jim, ever that's a very it, leaky edge. Serious. That's a leaky edge, Jim. So that's the blue guys. Try the green one. Not oh, much better. Not good. Not much better. Okay. A little bleed. And so we need a drum one, roll. We can get a drum roll, please. Wow. Whoa. Perfect. Just perfect. So it was easy. Very six, nice. Six years, no big deal. Tell us about the business. Tell us about where you are today, where you are in revenue, where you're distributing, and what Great. you're looking for. Dennis, our marketing guy. So we are um, in. Uh, we started by going to all the small mom and pops. We just signed an exclusive with Ace. So they're very interested. We're in about 500 stores right now, uh, which we've, uh, which we expect will probably double here in the next uh, three to six revenues months. Revenues and margin. Where are your revenues at today? Revenues are about $100,000 now, but they've, uh, they're on the track from doubling over last year. And so as we're getting into the stores, we're seeing a direct correlation, obviously. And the product is starting to turn as well, even though it doesn't have a lot of awareness from an advertising standpoint and going up against some of the big brands. But when anybody puts their hands on it, we find it sells well. And then costs. So you produce something like this. I would imagine you have to produce oodles and oodles and miles and miles of product, and you have to probably pay for it. Don't look so painful. It's actually fun. It's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, we make it in Oshkosh, so we have a really nice facility there with some equipment. And um, yes, we're able to produce massive amounts of volume because this is what we need. What are your margins? We can make the product for about $2 a roll, and we retail at about $10 a roll. And to finish your last question, the, the market itself is over a billion dollars a year domestically at wholesale. 
Um, most of that is at retail, 700 million roughly. And uh, as far as the capacity, our line, we spent a million two. Brand new, state-of-the-art coating facility uh, right next door to our current business. And we can make about a million six rolls a year. Nice product. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Thank guys. You. Appreciate it. How do you feel that you did? Oh, oh I don't know. Man, no, we want more time. <laughs> There's so much to talk about with our products. So um, it was exciting to be out there. And you just start going, and you just want to keep going. So. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. sure you it did goes great. Fast. It I, goes I'm fast. sure it did. Yeah. You have a great yeah. product. So let's see what happens. All right. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, a unique way this clinic reaches out to the community. And later, this crusader thinks composting is the future. Will the moguls agree? Entrepreneurism is absolutely vital to a successful and a thriving economy. We need more entrepreneurs to start and to grow successful businesses in our community and to create jobs here so that this great city on the Great Lake can be all that it truly can be. Cardinal Stretch University is known by employers, parents, and students as a place where graduates create their success. We've inspired more than 34,000 people to find and live out their mission. Now it's your turn to find out what it takes to change the world. Find out why earning a degree from Cardinal Stritch University will change your life. Welcome. How can I help? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Good. My name is Silvestra Ramirez, doctor of physical therapy and clinic owner of Physical Therapy of Milwaukee. Physical Therapy of Milwaukee is Milwaukee's first bilingual physical therapy clinic, where we service the English and Spanish-speaking community. We're the first doing ergonomics and doing post-injury rehab. I'm going to have you come up and let's set you up ergonomically. Sure. Let's pretend this is a workstation. Jerry, you should tell them how you've been hurt. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't want to talk about that, Peter. And see how many injuries you've had. Do you have any previous injuries? A few. <laughs> or I don't want to get do, into Do you count emotional? Or you well, <laughs> oh, oh, we, we count everything. Okay. Let's say you have to sit at the computer and type all day. And we take a look at what are you currently using? What are the tools that you currently have? And how can we make modifications? So let's say, let's pretend you are a fast typer. Go ahead and put your fingers, perfect. So what we want to see and what 80 I- 80 words a minute. 80 words a minute. <laughs> what we want to see and make sure that the wrist is in a neutral position. We don't want any extreme extension. And nowadays, the keyboards have become very fancy where you can increase the incline and people think that that's better. But actually that increases the pressure at your median nerve. Once you get that increase in, increase in pressure at the median nerve, you have numbness, tingling, and pain in the fingers. Something that you do not want. The other thing, go ahead and put your hand there. People think, all right, I got this at Target, I got this at the dollar store, let's slide it under. I'm injury free. Well, this is a good thing, but if you're combining this with the incline, and then I see you have a fancy watch there that further increases the pressure, or I'm sure you've seen the Fitbits and all the fancy bangles, that just further increases more and more the pressure at your wrist. Doctor, tell us about your business. Yes, so Physical Therapy of Milwaukee is currently on 27th and Howard. We are a staff of four individuals. We've been in business for three years. We've grown the business organically up to this point. Uh, we have no debt. It has been self-funded since the beginning. So who pays for you to go out to the workplace? So we are credentialed with all major health insurances and the work comp insurances. So it's usually the work comp insurance contacting me saying, we have this employee that has been injured repetitively, will you do an ergonomic assessment? What makes you different than the referrals that uh, Aurora would have or university hospitals will ha would have? They all have physical therapy mm -hmm. departments. Correct. Those physical therapists do treatments in the clinic. 
I see the patient in the clinic, assess them, but also talk about what do you have to do once you get back on the job? Do you have to lift, push, pull? Let me go to your job and see exactly what you have to do to make you more successful at getting back at work. And what do you need help with right now? What Finding uh, qualified physical therapy assistants and physical therapists that speak Spanish. Our employees that are hurt on the job, we have a 90% success rate at getting them back to work. And what do you think about Jerry? Is he okay? <laughs> Is he doing everything I right? think the watch can definitely come off. Well, <laughs> I could take if the watch off. If you can go off. into a deeper assessment, we'd, we'd, we'd love to hear. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You Thank so you so much. Thank you so much. Thank this you. is great. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Sylvester. You're back. I did it. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. It was so exciting to share the story and great feedback and great advice. Okay, good. So you really answered my question. Sounds like it went really well. <laughs> very well. Very happy that I had this opportunity. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And we'll see what happens. Yes. Okay. Thank all you. right. All right. Next, this entrepreneur is looking to create jobs in the local green economy. Entrepreneurialism is at the heart of economic growth here in Wisconsin. And I applaud Project Pitch It for all their efforts in highlighting entrepreneurs here in Wisconsin that bring creativity and new business to our state because it benefits all of us. I'm Darian Driver, proud superintendent of Milwaukee Public Schools. We have an exciting new culinary arts and restaurant management program. Please consider volunteering as a chef mentor in our classrooms or providing support for our planned kitchen upgrades. Milwaukee Business Journal. We help business and community leaders. Build their businesses. Advance their careers. And simplify their professional lives. Milwaukee Business Journal delivers the information you need. Education on how to grow your career. And events where it's simple to meet new people. And make business connections. The Marka Center is proud to have been Wisconsin's premier arts destination for nearly 50 years and committed to connecting our community to the arts for the next 50 years. World-class performances, memorable experiences. Come, find your connection. At Cardinal Stritch University, we know that not all graduate schools are the same. In our classrooms, you'll find trendsetters in business, healthcare, and education. Find out how our graduate students at Stritch get a jump start on finding success. Schedule your visit for one of our upcoming events. Aloha. Hello. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> uh, my name is Melissa Cashin, owner of Compost Crusader. Um, and I have one very simple question for you gentlemen. Do any of you compost at home or at your place of business? Peter does. <gasps> Peter? For the new Bucks Arena? For the new Bucks Arena, we are definitely composting. That's what's up. Yeah, All it's right. very exciting. Yeah. I don't know if you gentlemen are aware, but Milwaukee has a goal to divert 40% of what we're sending to the landfill by 2020. And I believe... Why, why is that the goal? What, what's the problem today? Uh, because our landfills are, are reaching dangerous capacity. And so once they reach capacity, our next move is to create a new landfill, go further. It's going to cost us a lot more money to be able to create that and sustain that type of infrastructure. And right now, over 25% of what makes up our landfill is food scraps. And so that's kind of like the last element right now. We recycle cans, bottles, um, because they're able to create jobs and create a finished product for us, be able to reuse it. Food scraps can do the exact same thing. And so I believe food scraps can help Milwaukee actually achieve that goal of a 40% a diversion by 2020. So in 2008, I had started a nonprofit organization that uh, picked up uh, vegetable and fruit scraps from businesses um, in five gallon buckets. We transported the material and then we processed the material by hand at community gardens. So right now, businesses are already used to paying for trash and recycling services, right? They already have, within each institution, you already have a landfill receptacle as well as a recycling receptacle. Now all I'm suggesting is you just add an additional receptacle. It's lined with a compostable bag. Now these bags are actually made from soy or corn. They look and they feel like plastic, but they're quite durable. So this has been able to help take the industry to a whole new level. Now, instead of just taking, you know, so this is what our usual trash looks like, right? We've got all different types of medleys in there, including food scraps, right? So now, instead of just being able to compost fruits and vegetables, which we were able to do before, as well as like yard waste and stuff, right? So all of these things, we were already kind of composting. But now, we can also take cooked meat dairy. 
Um, we've got grains that we can now take that before could not be composted in a backyard facility because it'll attract animals and stuff. So you take all of these things out of the equation, right? Now look at your volume. So once you can reduce the cost associated to your landfill service, you reduce then um, the volume so you can then reduce the size of the receptacle, the frequency of pickup, which ultimately means you reduce your costs associated to that service. So how much revenue do you have currently? How many customers do you have? We have 70. And what are you looking for from us? Um, right now I am looking for some marketing help. All of the customers we have, like Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, City of Milwaukee, Marquette University, all of these organizations came to us because they want to be more sustainable. So I haven't actually had to do any cold calling yet. I haven't had to convince anybody like Mark <laughs> that, this is, that this is the right way that you need to do it. You're well on your way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you just quickly give me the financials on, on how you, what you charge and, and how the this, how this service works? So once this receptacle is full, you've got a compostable bag. You just simply pull the liner, so it's very easy for staff to adopt. You put it into the outside receptacle, and then we come with our compost truck, and we service the outside receptacle. Take it to a DNR certified compost site, where then they process it and turn it into a finished soil uh, amendment. You finally have your gift. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep that one. So, so, this is good for the boxing organization. Is anyone else doing this in the United States? Or? Yes, okay. in the U.S. for sure. New York's been doing it for quite some time. MetLife has been doing it since 2013, whole stadiums. But what they're finding is that this whole industry, this eco-industry creates jobs, sustainable um, living wage jobs for people of various skill sets. So you need drivers. And it's a you good need laborers, you need um, processors. There's a big market for people that will be getting into this and have to get into this. Yeah, I mean, I, I started this business because I was passionate about the solution because it was so clear and it's so obtainable. It's not difficult. It's just really creating another habit. And the more people that create these habits and the more that you talk about them, the easier it is to adopt and to just kind of make mainstream. Great job. You're passionate for process. sure. Yeah. That's awesome. Great job. <laughs> Thank you. Is that yeah. okay? Good job. Keeps us? Yeah, please. Yeah. Congratulations, Got a Peter. birthday coming up. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, very much. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Yeah, y'all have a good one. I'll tell you that this is not a pie in the sky kind of happening. This is an emerging the, market, right? Oh, on the commercial side of things, this will be what we'll all be right. kind of directionally having to do. Hi, Melissa. How's it going? It's going all right. So how's it going for you is the big question. It's going good. It's going good. I like tough questions. And I like it better when I feel like I answered them properly. So I hope I did a good job out there. Okay. I'm sure that you did. <laughs> so listen, much success to you. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you so much. I all appreciate right. it. All right. Coming up, the moguls break down the pitches. At On Milwaukee, we're honored to be a part of the entrepreneurial and media and innovation spirit that this state has. So my hat is off to the people at Project Pitch It because it's provided another avenue to tell the wonderful stories of all the great people that get out of bed every morning and say, all right, I am going to make the entrepreneurial spirit bigger, bolder, and brighter in the state of Wisconsin. What can you count on? There's that friend who always calls at the right time. That special set of wheels, always ready to roll. Here's something else you can count on, electricity. Just flip a switch and your life powers up. At American Transmission Company, we help make sure electricity is there when you need it. That's what we do, deliver economical, reliable power for your everyday life. American Transmission Company, helping to keep the lights on, businesses running, and communities strong. Very interesting pitches today. Physical therapy, preserving the environment, and a solution for the painting industry. Let's see what our moguls have to say about today's presentation. Mark? Well guys, we have three businesses in completely different stages, and that's gonna make it tough for us to go through it. You've got uh, Physical Therapy of Milwaukee, uh, Dr. Ramirez, she's an ongoing business. And we have Snot Tape, which is just in their early revenue producing stages. Then we got Compost Crusader. She's probably past the proof of concept stage, but she's still in the commercialization stage. So three very different uh, stages of their, of their life cycles. Uh, it's gonna be tough to go through those. And all with different opportunities to scale. If you think about it, the, the, snot, the it's, it's not tape, snot tape, I kinda actually like the name. 
it's different. But that has the potential to be really big. I think that could be a home run. I think there's that's very capital intensive. It's a real bet. It's a real bet. It's a real bet, bet to, to scale up. Uh, I, I also, I love the, uh, you know, that we get another passionate composting, yeah, you know, right. woman who, who I think like when we really talk about what she could probably use the most is probably capital to help scale up the business and to really start marketing the business in a big way. Well, yeah. when you describe the three businesses as being in different stages, I could see all three of them getting the cash. I could see all three of them getting yeah, the cargo Yeah, who knows, who knows package. what's gonna happen. It's, uh, they're all in need of all three of the areas. Yeah, and they all need roadmaps. Yes, they sure yeah, do. Yeah, they certainly do, so, well. It'll be interesting to see what we do. Yeah. Coming up, the Moguls award over $30,000 in cash and prizes. Hi, I'm Omar Sheck of Surge Restaurant Group, and I can tell you as an entrepreneur that entrepreneurism is the path to jobs, economic growth, and community strength and vitality. So join me in Project Pitch It to inspire local entrepreneurs to make our local marketplace and this community better. Melissa, Mary Chris, and Dr. Ramirez, you all three have wonderful businesses. And they're all at different stages and they're all at different growth trajectories. There's passion, there's a multi-billion dollar industry where I think you've perfected some things. And there's consistent revenue already where you're maybe trying to create a niche. So with that all in consideration, some tough, tough discussions and challenges and uh, deliberations took place. I loved all three presentations, um, great companies, and obviously we talked about the good passion that you guys all have into it, and um, some very tough decisions. It was one of the toughest. With Dr. Ramirez, we'd like to give you the Cardinal Stritch, the Stritch Pitch It Award, and wow. it's valued at a little bit over $10,000. And then with that, you get to use the space at Cardinal Stritch, office space, rooms, whatever you need there. You can mentor with the professors. The professors can mentor you and help you with your plan. You can take classes there also. So uh, it's a nice package. Thank um, you. I went there and uh, they helped me quite a bit with my business plan. So I think you're gonna really enjoy how they help you with your organization. Thank you, I greatly appreciate it. And we were talking, we've got four old white guys up here. We've got three young women, <laughs> three young women entrepreneurs, which is just fabulous. We really appreciate that and love that. But uh, uh, Mary Chris, I hope you like steak because you're going to get a chance to have dinner at our rare steakhouse, the newest and best steakhouse in Milwaukee. Awesome. But that's just the consolation part of it. You're going to get to meet with Bright Star Investment Committee members. We've invested millions of dollars in 23 companies. And we think we can help you get along with like what kind of product selection you should have, what markets you should grow in, how you should grow in them, difference between retail and wholesale. Our investment committee members have a lot of experience in all those areas and we hope we can help you get along to growing that company to a multi-million dollar business, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, hopefully in the future. Perfect, exactly what we need. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Peter, what do you think? We talked about it and we talk, when we talked about uh, your business, Melissa, we really thought about what would be the smartest way to really help you get to the next level. And we think it's scalability and we think capital would help you the, the most. How do you really market? You're really looking to, to uh, promote yourself and market yourself. So we've decided to, uh, to give you $10,000 of cash to, uh, to help build your business. Shut so, up. Yes. No, 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 we're serious. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna cry. That's so awesome. So congratulations. Thank you. Good. Great job by all. Great job. Great job. Great congratulations. So Thank you. So you guys are gonna start composting? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you want to support these Thank entrepreneurs, so visit our website for more information about their products and companies. If you have an idea for the next great Wisconsin business, we want to hear from you. Visit projectpitchit.com. Is anything I could have done differently? Oh, no, 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 no